Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. This is going to be a short one, but I had to share this with you because I've gotten comments on the channel about things that I show in my videos. And when you all try to go do those in your personal developer instances, you haven't been able to do them. And it's been frustrating for you. It's been sad for me to not be able to kind of empower you and, and let you go do the things I was doing in my personal developer instance or in my demo instances. So thing is with Utah I've noticed something has changed I'm not quite sure what's going on what I suspect is something's changed in the store that ServiceNow is letting us put stuff on our PDIs that we previously haven't been able to so I went back to a comment that was actually on my channel this is from Min and she was asking about the CMDB workspace and she couldn't get that on her PDI and so I was trying to say you know you might be able to go to the back end see if it's available from the store and in your application menu but that's the way I installed it I didn't know if it'd work well I noticed what I'm seeing is this updated language and all service now developer portal instances so what I did is I went through my demo showcase and I said okay that seemed to be workspace um, what about strategic planning which is the new name for alignment planner workspace yes all developer portal instances and then I said well what about the next workspace service operations workspace ITOM service operations workspace ITSM same thing available on service now developer portal instances. Same with ITSM, same with the vendor manager workspace. That was one I got asked about. Uh, cloud operations workspace. Um, so that was the workspaces that were good news to see that if you have a PDI, you can get these in your workspaces. Now, you're still gonna need to figure out the demo data stuff, right? So a lot of the stuff I'm showing in my demo has demo data behind it that um, they provide for our partners to be able to show people in demos. So if you're playing around with these in your PDI, you may still have kind of the, I need to generate some demo data problem. But the big news is, um, this was actually just on YouTube earlier this morning, um, I think like 2 or 3 a.m. my time on the creator uh, creator content uh, on the developer channel, but that is RPA Hub. That was probably the one I was most asked about was how do I get this on my PDI so I can play around with it, see if this is the right solution for me and my team. And so I'm happy to share with you, if you didn't know already, that Automation Center, which is kind of like a, a way to manage and monitor stuff going on with RPA Hub, plus RPA Hub itself, is available on ServiceNow developer portal instances. This is big. I think with the RPA Hub, you get like one attended robot, one unattended robot. And what my big takeaway is, and what I hope your takeaway is, is that it looks like developer port or developer instances you know, I don't know why it says developer portal instances, they're PDIs, they're developer, their personal development instances, um, seem to be getting some more service now store love, meaning now you're not gonna be able to go download a vendor's app that requires you to pay for it and to go do something and test it. But for the service now stuff where we use our PDIs as more of a kind of like a like an alpha test before we get into our test environment maybe and then you know promoting that to cert and to production so now your PDI can truly do some of this other stuff that we haven't been able to previously do and even myself on the channel I've had to go to our partner instances um, and kind of you'll see me blur out things so that I'm not um, kind of giving away details about our instances um, on the YouTube channel because they just weren't available in our PDIs for us to play around with or test. So that's it. That's the big announcement on this one. If there's something you've been trying to get into your PDI, go check the store, go check the documentation, see if you can get it in there now, upgrade that PDI to Utah. Um, if you do upgrade that PDI, suggest a reset. I'm seeing some issues, but um, reset that PDI, then upgrade to Utah or release it all together, get to Utah. And the app you were waiting on or the workspace or in this case, uh, robotic process on my automation might be available to you now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in more things they can do with their personal developer instance from ServiceNow. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.